Hello and welcome back to Sunday Sunday where we sail us on the sea, with me Barden and Lady Sakura. So we just left that hut, uh, closing down the game and starting back up seemed to fix that issue. We're now going to go set west and head towards station 3. I'm going to take these guys out if we have to on the way as well. Looks like they want to fight. We're happy enough to give it to them. Good. Fragments of clay are littered across the deck. The crunch on the foot. They crunch on the foot like pot shards. Unfinished men do not surrender. Okay, let's investigate the holes. We we'll finish opening the cash curiosities. And then we got two fuel. Okay. Not amazing, has to be said. For fighting those guys. So we didn't take that much damage. But still unfinished men. Difficult enough fight, I'd say. Yeah, we need to be kind of heading more directly west than we are. So we've got the uh, long box to be able to deliver here, which is good. Let's pop in. Guard the yard, but I want to first of all deliver the long box. Let's go here first. Yeah, let's deliver a long box to the at light. Broken. Um, which one do we want to do? We could exchange it, and then we get money for the heart metal ingot. Or we could bring the heart metal ingot to. I think it's um, Port Cecil. So which one? Let's just deliver one. It's difficult to read her expression behind those goggles. Perhaps she's pleased to see you. Perhaps she's only eager to continue her work. Okay, so we get 100 echoes and we get uh, two extra favor as well for station three. Okay, that's good. Then we go here. That's the straightforward challenge. She asks you to keep a night watch on the dump where she throws away the unused hearts. Smugglers along the shore. The place proves to be a wide field, knee deep in the dark matter. Thousands of hearts worth. Looking too closely and it makes you dizzy. Looking too far away from it makes you a poor watchman. It makes for an uncomfortable couple of hours, pacing around in a dumping ground, which runs all the way down the beach. In the last quarter of the watch, there's stealthy movement, a rowboat, three hooded figures. Okay, so we succeeded. And then we bumped that up as well. Okay, right, so which one will we do? They move stealthily in the dark. They haven't noticed you yet. Challenge them immediately. Watch until you know what they're up to. You can always intervene afterwards. Yeah, let's do that. Sing song and 
uh, bishoprics. They're singing to themselves and carrying lenses of some sort, and they know enough to be looking through the most recent part of the pile. It's plain someone's tipped them off about the particularly juicy scandal that has just lately been discarded. From the whispers in the dark, you even have some idea what it is. The bishopric in the balance, a secret alliance with the brass embassy. Before they finish their search, you take them by surprise and send them scrambling. They even drop something in the process. So the sack of drop, um, of dark drop coffee, okay, and then two supplies. Right, not too bad. Summon, summons to the low building. The acolyte sends you a message requesting assistance with a difficult autopsy. The message emphasizes silence and discretion. Find out what she wants. Perhaps there will be something in it for you. A locked coffin. The coffin is banded with iron and triple locked. Leave for the chief. It's labelled. The austere acolyte is standing over it with a crowbar and a fixed expression. The other autopsy. She breaks the locks and pries off the lid. The body inside is her own, or rather, it has her nose, her cheekbones, her long fingers. Its hair is longer and something, almost its eyes, like something about its eyes make it appear more dissolute. But it is, or at least it could be, her twin. Her death was my fault, Jack like says the acolyte bleakly. So, of course, she comes back to me. Discourage her from doing this autopsy or lowest challenge. Help her. This one won't be easy. Her leader must have locked this particular box for her own protection. Which one do we do? I think I want to do this one just because there's... there is chance involved in it where that just seems... it'll just happen anyway. Let's try this. Snapped sympathy. You offer a reasoned argument. She offers dockyard invective. Whatever her twin's body signifies, she needs to discover it. When you won't help her, she throws you out. From outside the building, you can hear the banging of instruments and no sing at all. Okay, uh, so we failed in the challenge. Try again, you may have better luck. Okay, let's, uh, let's apologize then. She doesn't look overjoyed to see you. That didn't go well. She jerks her head to one side when you start speaking. It's a surprise she doesn't sing to drown you out. You have the feeling you won't be seeing her again. In the current station three trading. Apologies now nine. Ooh, that's not good. We screwed that up royally. Okay, let's return later then. Okay, well that was not the best, I have to say. But let's head off. Right, so we're off to Polythreme. <sighs> yeah, so wherever that was, we probably, like, I guess logic dictates we probably should just helped her. But because of that, there was a chance there, and it was a pretty good chance of actually succeeding. I wanted to try it and see what, what that brought us. So that's things about games like this where you would you kind of do things that maybe you wouldn't normally do. Like if I was helping this person for a long time, I wouldn't then suddenly um, decide to to go against them. Like I just yeah yeah I'll help whatever. It's fine. Wouldn't even think about stopping. Right, so we're gonna deal with whatever we have here. So generally it's just pick up the, get a port port, pick up the delivery for London and get out of here. 
And after mucking up the autopsy, I think something more mundane like that is probably what we need as well. Okay, um, one cure our our sharpness. We'll gather intelligence though. What news from Poly 3? The city cries out. Roads royal, bricks quiver. The windows of all the buildings flash like eyes. The palace above the city swells and roars. The convulsion is how claymen are born. Even now, somewhere below, they open their blind seeming grey eyes. Okay, we're getting fire terror, which we don't like. We could, I guess we should actually keep some shore leave. Drink beer that wails from cups that sob. If you like that sort of thing. Under the circumstances, your crew might have been happier. We lost one terror. Okay, not amazing. We're not going to try it again either. Um, let's deliver the claim in. Are they passengers or cargo? They're certainly the easiest passengers imaginable. Unless, just unless, one turns out to be an unfinished man. They troop aboard. Each one lies down in his appointed position, next to the other, nestled snugly head to foot. We are for London, one explains to you. Okay, and we don't have a, I think we sold our watch with Curio. So we don't have one to trade with you. Um, shops, we already have We Are Clay. We could sell our, I guess we probably should sell the Stivian Library, right? Just to free up some space. And then we head off. And our next call is going to be Scrimshander. Yeah. Let's head down in that direction. Are we kind of going in there? Yeah, we need to adjust a little to the west. Oh, lovely. Just what you need when you're getting concerned about your terror. Nice fog bank. We watch for the fungal pads in the Sea of Lilies. There is a prison here, guarded by not oracles. Clean up the carver and come. Let's grab our report. Not so many goings. Ships from the Khanate are most common, but you see shellnate vessels, polythreme trilunes, with chained and sulky unfinished men, corsairs disposing of their miscreants. Even one furtive Arini skiff. The wardens pay them well for their prisoners. Okay. Then could rescue a prisoner, 19% chance, or ransom a, it's actually less chance to ransom a prisoner, well, uh, I think we're going to leave it, then we're going to head off, and, oh, okay, well, let's try that, and then we're going to have to reload again, unfortunately. We can't, we can't have this ruining our plans. So head off. Check our map. Oh, we missed Scrimshander. We better go up there. Okay, I did check the map.
and it's too far away to get on the way up on the next kind of area either so hey there mr bound shark we're definitely gonna avoid you if we can Okay, let's accept the price in the dock. Let's get our port report. Consider it an ongoing history of the present. Few visitors, fewer departures. The inhabitants of Scrimshander spend most of their time praying on the mysteries of the past. They spend almost as much time arguing about their interpretations. Salted residents often collect nearby salvage, seeing the results and ascribing their interpretations on any skeleton remains. But those who leave too often are easily recognised by what they have behind in their travels, memories, personalities and bones. Otherwise they are rarely considered a present. Certainly not with the same focus they give to the histories buried within their tower. Recent world events are met with polite silence unless it prompts an anecdote about similarities with antiquity. Apart from old grudges and new theories, very little changes here. Let's get a port report. Uh, let's try helping. A bandaged monk sits, attempting to carve a tail with a steel-tipped quill. This is not work for a trembling hand. A day dictated. The monk describes a day in the life of the tomb colonists. While you wield the quill, its nib car carves the bone easily as if it were a mushroom flesh. The tail is dry, but he insists it be recorded for poster posterity. Oh, sorry, posterity. Few tomb colonists come to share their tales. A historian blind, historical blind spot, he laments at length. When the work is finished, he invites you to see further tales in the ivory archives at, as his guest. Okay. Well, let's delve into the ivory archives then. The ivory archives are a wealth of history with ages of visitors' stories carved into the bone pillars that build the citadel. It's something between a library and an ossuary, but less inviting. Downward into history, the monks grudgingly allow you to enter, but warn you that staying longer than your allotted time will incur significant penalties. They refrain from going into details, but you notice that their bone quills are significantly larger and sharper than their fellows. Okay, so let's continue downwards. Narrow passages wind through the old city, shadowed ever descending. You walk alone except for the constant remains of those who came before you, each hearing their sad small tales. They all end the same way. They all end here. Will you? The tales of the dead surround you. Each step buries you deeper in the past. What came before now? What terrors of yesterday led to today? Discoveries in the Ivory Archives What have you discovered? What have you discovered? Question an ancient assumption. Everyone knows that city and its people were completely destroyed. Everyone except the author of these records, apparently. Survivor of a sort. So much for the old theories. It seems the disaster wasn't so natural after all. Devils were less fond of subtlety back then. Okay, and then let's leave the archives. Back to now. Back among the living, or at least the most recent remains. Okay, and then gather at the stage of history. Scholars file quietly into a pair of great ivory doors at the far end of the hallway. When they stumble out again, 
you could hear raised voices, arguments and laughter, to the amphitheatre. Out of the reverent silence of the outside, the boisterous noise of the amphitheatre washes over you like the heavy sea behind these walls. The stage of history. Actors strut in the amphitheatre of bone, performing historical plays of dubious veracity. An audience watches from below, with each roaring drunk member applauding or doing different details of the work. Above, an imperious figure wearing a crown of ivory judges each performance from a raised theatre box. All are served by a single man, weaving between the crowd and wearing a perpetual smirk. Um, what should we do? We don't want to trade coffee. We don't want more time in the archives, so let's do one of these. Let's watch a role play. Um, yeah. The Shanley Champions promise a tale of a lone hero who changed the course of history based on historical evidence. Often enjoyable, occasionally accurate. Truly, this is what heroes are made of, of courage, charm, and an ample capacity for violence. The moral is clearly defined. The prop horses are surprisingly well painted. How considerate of history to provide such ex exemplar of heroism. The crowd roars its approval and keeps the glib historian busy with demands for more wine. His efforts to serve the unruly lot deserve a play of their own. Okay, so we lose 10 echoes. Uh, sorry, lose 10, um, 10 terror, which is good. Uh, let's talk with the glib, glib historian. The mushroom wine he serves is stale. The plays he announces are questionable at best, but the impeccably bearded man with the olive skin laughs at every performance and has a smile for every patron. Warring theories on the stage of history some cheer history as the work of brave and inspired heroes, especially them who wish they could be heroes themselves, the glib historian rolls his eyes theatrically. Others say it's all shaped by cynical changes in scientific progress, economics and such, but nothing gets in the way of a good story quite like nuance. He spits out the word like a rotten grape. We let him argue up on the stage I give an ivory crown to whoever is most convincing at the moment. He waves a hand at the temporary monarch in the raised seat above. But far as I'm concerned, he confides, filling a patron's mug with cheap wine. History is what you make of it, and I make a killing. Okay, and that's pretty much us done there and done for this episode as well. So hope you have enjoyed. Hope you're keeping safe right there and hope to see you next time. Goodbye. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, maybe consider hitting the subscribe button there on the right or checking out some other videos here on the left. Or perhaps you might even share with some friends.